Hello, this is Oksana from Alabama. Welcome to Mobile. If you need to reach me, email realtor at oksanaalabama.com. I'm 47 right now in 2021. I have three boys. Sweet home, Alabama. And every time I look at properties and neighborhoods, I think about the area, the schools, the awesome things people can do. Uh, what do they have? If your kids uh, want to take some acting, acting classes, vocal lessons, dance classes, I would recommend to check out Playhouse in the Park. Brings us to the present. 
nice vocal on the dress. Oh, how about a flower? A, a beautiful long stemmed rose like the ones we used to grow in our garden. Excellent. I'm very thoughtful, too. I shall bring the prettiest, most expensive rose in the entire Mississippi Valley. <coughs> Farewell, my loves.
my fortune, my, or my health, my wits, and my soul. <laughs> Damn! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> you mean you ain't got nothing for to bargain with? I I could knit you a sock. <laughs> Your daddy said you had a a kind and a honest soul and now I can see that it's so maybe we can strike a deal at that. Really? Oh, thank oh, you. Don't get too jumpy till you know the price. You know that spooky old plantation to the other side of the swamp? You go there and offer yourself as a servant to the master of the house. Work the satisfaction through the winter, then we'll call it a square. Oh, that doesn't seem too difficult. What's his name? The Marquis de la Vette. So, around here, folks call him the Beast. And he ain't had one servant last till spring time. He's a mean critter and no mistake. What happened to the others? Oh, you don't want to know. You got two next Mardi Gras to make the beast treat you like a human being. <laughs> if Ash Wednesday comes and he still ain't done yet, kindness, then your daddy's soul is mine. And a couple other things besides. Deal!
Whisper. Always boogling things. <laughs> Very well. You may stay. But you'll make a big mistake, whoever you are. And no, I don't plan on learning your name. You won't last long enough for that. Well, it's Bella. Bella Von Schaub. I said, I'm not going to learn. You're stupid. Bella. Oh, 
see I'm not the shell. What I do is I please in my own house. And if I please the shell, your name can you wish you never taught it to me? Bella. And that's my privilege as well. As for instructions, here they are. By sunrise tomorrow, you will clean this entire house without using a broom. Wax the floor without using a mop. And make my breakfast without gathering any food. Do all of this to my satisfaction. And you might last till sundown tomorrow. But I doubt it. I most sincerely doubt it. And no bacon for breakfast. I'm on a diet. <laughs> I should just call off this insane bargain right now and let my father lose his, his soul. No. no. I gotta make this work. What was it again? Sweep the house without touching a broom. Okay, there's a broom right there. I almost touched it. Oh, please tell me that doesn't count! Well, I don't suppose you'd be willing to sweep yourself, would you? And I wouldn't have to pick you up.
bed on the marble floor. Wasting time to straighten it up when I'm trying to crush your spirit. so much shouting today, it's been interfering with my mission to provide you with impeccable service. <clears throat> Call me on your tail bed, or your lordship. You owe me an apology. I will be hard just now. Apologize. That was for something else. Now I want a bigger one! <laughs> I'm not going to call you your lordship. You haven't earned it. It's only because I'm so well-bred that I even call you as your beast. You were so much easier to frighten when you first got here. You didn't talk to any of those stupid ghosts, have you? Saucy man, a spooky bugger, a blabbering Irish cook. Oh, such an imagination, Monsieur Laz. Well, they paid me, so will you. I never treat you like a human. Never. <laughs> Get your drinks and leave on your family's socks. If we feel like. 
So friendship then. And nothing more. Isn't that enough? I don't know. Two months ago, I would have been happy to see you go. A month ago, we were barely speaking. But now I can see that I can find you quite tall. <laughs> Uh, not accustomed to it at all, but if this is what you're allowed to call affection, yes, I suppose that's what I feel. Very well then. Then I suppose I find you quite tolerable as well. Uh, well. Yes, dear! I was wondering, <laughs> would you be wanting to serve lamb or pork at the ball because lamb is her favorite, but I you can't can serve a trap bones in turnip for all I can. Can't you see I'm trying to talk politely to the mademoiselle? Well, excuse me for not breathing. Now, pardon on me. I have to go scratch myself in a place that's not quite easy to reach in this outfit. <laughs> about 
challenge yourself. The only ones that stay are the ghosts who can't leave. And I want to spend my final days here. I want to see my family. Oh, please. But you can stop all this right now. Just prove to me that you still have love in you. Show me a kindness now. Just go.
thought the other was wealthy. You fell in love because you were both willing to reveal the truth in your hearts. <laughs>
from Alabama.